can't think. Now we're good. Ew. Right? Yes. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry. Right, I know where it's going. Right? You want to spice up the Malibu with some white oak. Right? On top of that, that this, this shit is going to make this shit go crazy. Right? Sounds like a whole bunch of sugar and a hangover. Just don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. And then, sort of whole big Moscato. Cool. I think my, my think, think my body just said it. No, that's a whole bunch of sugar, bro. I call it made out of sugar. Rum is made out of sugar. Everything's made out of sugar. Everything has sugar in it. Yeah, screw it. Bing bong, you know what time it is. It's your boy Wings Liddy. It's Dr. Liddy, and please, please do not, do not. What he just, what I just did, was diabetes. Completely, dis completely disregard that. That was diabetes. Completely disregard that. So you know that sound when you hear that bing bong. So you don't, don't you're never gonna hear that bing bong. I hate that shit. I need to stop that bing bong shit, bro. I can't think. You see the beginning? This is a versus. It's your boy, everybody's favorite, the Jordan of Tequila's Casamigos versus a twenty dollar difference of Casa Dragones. So now it's cheaper or kind of turn out more expensive? More expensive. Ooh, so this is $70? Yeah. Ooh. House of Dragones. So we get to figure out, is it really the money or is it really the makeup? Okay. Which one do you think? We have both of these in separate times. I mean... Casamigos is a uh, club kid right now. Boy. You come up with the bottle of Casas in the club, boy. Yeah, you hit, boy. <laughs> Yo, last week, the Casa came out. The Casa was done in like 2.5, but. That's a fact. That everybody dog. loves Casa. Not sure why, but it just took off a couple of years ago and it's not showing any signs of slowing down. Jump, man, jump, man, jump, man, jump, man. Casa, the. Casa Dragones, on the other hand, or Casa Dragons, um, I full well and believe it's the better tequila. That's not even, <laughs> it's not even in the bit. But we're doing this for you, 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 and you, for all my te quote unquote real tequila drinkers. Because y'all yeah, always want to go for this and never try something new. Everything okay with you? Everything's perfect. All right, so I had the first pick, so we're doing Casamigos. Don't mind my partner. Some people are this height, bro. Are you talking about female bartenders? <laughs> Not just bartenders. People in general? I mean, I'm definitely I'm mostly looking at that height, bro. It is what it is. That pop of the casa. Ooh. I done made sure so many panties have popped off the same way. And fellas, if you buy your girl a bottle, or buy a girl that you're chilling with a bottle, probably said this for you, I'm gonna say it again. Drop it in your trunk, and then ask them after the night is over what you're trying to do for tonight. If they say, oh, you know what? I'll go home. And you keep the bottle in your truck. And you go enjoy that. Yeah, it's the same premise as getting those condoms that are ripped for hush pleasure. And the wise words of a man long ago who I don't remember who said this. You turn them inside out. And they rip for your pleasure. It's all about words to live by. It's all about it. It's all about it. Let's do this. Salud. Salud.
It's nice and cold. It is. It is. And Casamigos is Casamigos. Everybody's had it. Everybody knows what it tastes like. Fairly smooth. I mean, a lot of people would describe it as the best tequila they've ever drank before. It's certainly not the best tequila I've ever had before. It's a little on the upper mid for me, but it's definitely serviceable. Not worth the price hikes, worth the original price it was, but definitely $34. Not I'd even say 40 but a $56, $60 tequila, it is not. In most stores, this is sixty dollars. In New York, yeah. In New York, y'all wild with these driving the price. Man. That being said, it's fairly smooth. The flavors are palatable. I consider it a little bit more. I would say it's not full bodied, not too sweet, but not too bland. Indeed. Uh, for the most part. Tequila, bite is minimal. Yep, nice warm heat. Nice warm heat going down. Yeah. So all in all, again, we'll, we'll do we'll do the ratings after we get the Casa Dog on this. Indeed. So let's get it on and rolling. Let's make this one quick. Cha 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 cha. Everybody! Cha cha. All right. So. Before you ask, I'm not responsible for why this bottle is where it is. I was sharing it with one of my homegirls. Well, technically, one of my homeboy's little sis because I wanted to introduce her. But she is going to come for a feature in the next episode of what you see. Or maybe a little bit before this, depending on how I feel about the editing. But, ongoing. Casa Dragons, baby! Dragoness. Dragons for all you. Why are you yankees? twisting all Josh. Dragons. No, I'm just kidding. We drank quite a lot. Tried quite a bit of alcohol, right? Mm hmm. You call us alcoholics? Functional alcoholics. Because we're not raging alcoholics. Nah, yeah, that's not that's true. I'm not angry at all. I'm not angry at all. We're we're not hopeless alcoholics. Hopeless meaning drink any and everything. Nah, that's true. We definitely won't drink everything. Nah, definitely won't. Definitely won't. Like Georgie. Oh Oof. yeah. Oof. Uh, what's that? What's that cheap tequila? Mmm. It's a cheap tequila. I haven't had Cuervo in a while. Facts. Cuervo's pretty cheap. I haven't had Patron in years. Patron's not cheap. No, it's, it's not cheap. Nasty. It's just nasty. And I, I actually had the. I tasted, which you're going to probably see a picture right there. Right on the screen right there. Patron's um, adversary. Oh. You remember I, I, I let you taste that and it, it smelled like a band aid? Anyway, think about it. anyway, Casa Dragones. We're not alcohol, we're functional alcoholics. This is what we do. Salud. And we have a winner. It's more full bodied than the Casa. There's a lot more going on there as far as flavor profile is concerned. Oh, yeah. Slightly sweeter, cleaner finish. Yeah. Flawless. Victory. It's really nice. Yo. Casa Dragones is really nice. It's, it's a, sweet, but it's ooh. not off-putting. I'll put it to you like this. If you want to be like the average, you choose this. If you want to be what they call weird, something that nobody else is doing, and you want to be on top of your game, you choose this. So a rating, I'll give Casa a three, and this a perfect five in shot glasses. Mm, I'm not going to be quite as mean to Casa, nor as amazing to this. So I'm going to give Casa a three and a half, and this is more of a four to me. 
four four point seven. Nah. Really? It's a four. Well, you know what? You know it's a five. A bad bitch. Nah, that's a ten. <laughs> Two fives make it dead. <laughs> so, on that amazing note, keep it litty for your city. And Casa Dragunas is the winner. Takes the dough. And remember to drink responsibly. Don't drink a drop. And